Hey guys, this is Daniel with Grim Grin Gaming, and today we're going to be learning how to make a campfire using uh, Photoshop, Autodesk Maya, and Unity. We'll be doing the particle effects like the fire and the smoke in Unity. This terrain was also done in Unity. It's real simple. I'll show you how to do it just for fun. And uh, we'll be doing the rocks and wood part in uh, Maya and in Photoshop. So this is what the end result should look something like and today we're just going to be working on making the model here just the model no fire and that's going to be done in Maya with the uh, texturing done in Photoshop you can use uh, Blender and GIMP they are free programs with similar layouts and uh, purposes and uh, yeah, I don't use Blender typically very often unless somebody really wants me to. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be using Maya. Very similar. Anyways, open up uh, Maya and make sure you're in the Polygon section. Polygon tab. And then let us make the rock first. And if you notice, I didn't make the most complex rocks. They're actually all the same model. of have different sizes and scattered about. If you want, you can spend extra time you know making it more and more realistic so to make that all I did was I made a sphere sphere alright so there's the sphere sorry it's running a little bit slow alright so sphere and then let's go ahead and I am not a professional 3D modeler. There's probably a better way of doing everything that I do, but this is just to give you guys an idea of what uh, you're doing. I believe I want it to be a 5 division by 6 division, and that's going to be so that I can cut it in half on this axis, 0. Um, right click on it and hold it down. Click face, hit space bar, so we can get a different view. and then just make sure you're highlighting that hit delete and now you can hit spacebar while hovering over whichever window you want it to open in and now we've got our rocks beginning right click on it hit edge double click on the bottom edge go to mesh fill hole and it'll fill the hole on the bottom you won't really see the bottom but whatever right click on it right click on it down object mode click object mode and um, you can hit 3 to preview what it'll look like smoothed now this is not gonna be how it renders this is strictly a preview so if I were to export it it would look like this and you hit 1 to go back to uh, regular 2 shows you the smoothed within the bounding box of the uh, whatever I don't know why I would care but there you go so that's what we're gonna be shooting for and so what we want to do is texture this model now and to do that we're going to go make sure we're clicked on it go to edit UVs go to delete UVs now there are none and right click uh, first go ahead and go create or uh, edit UVs UV texture editor and that will pop up in a second there you go um, just a brief introduction to the texture editor the dark gray square is the only place that you can put the uh, the UV map that we're gonna make if you put it somewhere else it doesn't work I'm not sure why nor am I sure what these boxes are for kinda have a theory that maybe it's for specular and normal maps and stuff like that but uh, so on our model let's go ahead and go to face and then let's go to hit space, highlight everything above the bottom layer, shouldn't get highlighted, and then we can go ahead and create UVs, um, again not a professional 3D modeler, there's definitely a better way to do this, but I'm just going to use planar mapping. We want to use the Y axis because the model is pointing up on the Y axis. So uh, probably be better to do the bottom like that, but whatever. I'm going fast. It's just going to be projected on the y-axis. There we go. So now we have our texture for the model. And let's 
go ahead and hit polygons UV snapshot um, browse to wherever you want the uh, image to be saved I'm gonna put it in this campfire tut area should actually probably make a new folder but whatever I'm gonna save it as new and yep and you can hit save and make sure you're on PNG not Maya if or something and 1024 by 1024 that's really it and go ahead and hit OK you'll get the confirmation dialog there and now let's go here and open up our thing so new rock UV rock UV go ahead and open it up in Photoshop or GIMP or something along those lines and bump 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 waiting for it to open now it's opened uh, in Photoshop you can hit control shift new or control shift N to make a new layer drag it underneath the other one use the paint bucket tool we're not doing anything complex here but this is how you would do it so now we can see the uh, UV map and let's go ahead and find the rock that I want to use I'm going to use this uh, real quick you can go to grimgringaming.com slash downloads where I will include all the assets that I use to make everything as well as finished versions of each tutorial and then the final tutorials complete package of the uh, fireplace so in here you can go and click on the I don't know that tool and then drag it where you want it to go I want it to go in here it's 1024 this is 1024 again this is really not a complex thing I'm not even going to change anything but this is how you open up the textures and everything so anyways go ahead and hit make sure that you move the actual UV map underneath otherwise the lines will be on the image and save for web or just save as a PNG or whatever so save save New rock UV texture hit save and now we have it saved go back to Maya go ahead and you can just close this object mode click that go ahead and right click go to assign new material and it's a rock so we don't need it to be shiny or anything like that hit Lambert it's like the dull texture uh, right click material attributes um, if you want to just work in this mode it's better for visual purposes go ahead and click the checker box next to color hit file now we get this little folder to open up a file um, it was new rock UV texture open and boom there's our texture uh, doesn't look that good right but stretched out here too and then you get three and then that's kind of what the whole thing's gonna be you know make it more like oblong like an oval but yeah to make sure that your uh, object isn't so stretched or something you got to go in here and either texture it better or let's see if we can find this on here so or you can just drag this around a little bit and see if you can you know come up with a better looking version you know so that starts to look a little bit better but again don't care so there we go that is a rock and let's go ahead and right click object mode click on the rock let's make it um, actually a little bit more oblong so on um, this axis which is red which is the x-axis let's go ahead and make it 1.5 see if that looks okay not really 1.25 um, and 
yeah so that is a rock and the rocks are going to be in a circle around the fire so just real quick quick let's go ahead and see where we're going to be moving them so it's a circle and it's at zero on the y so we just want to move it on the x and on the z which is the blue one so if we know what our circle size is going to be which i kind of do we can just input numbers for it and then you can click on it and hit control d and that will duplicate it and so if we moved it up to four then to make a circle we got to move it down to negative four and then go ahead and click click control d now we want to move it back to zero and then the other axis we're going to work on is four control d And then I think this is like two and a half and two and a half or something. So let's see, control D and do negative 2.5 and uh, negative 2.5. And so that's kind of a circle, right? And then just got to change the value a little bit. Oops, I duplicate it. Control D got to change the values a little bit and control D so you just got to create all the opposite um, things or whatever and that's a circle so yeah there's your circle you can uh, rotate these things or something along maybe this axis and then you know they'll look different but I'm not gonna do terribly much polish or whatever on this so there is our rock circle you can also make them smaller move them around or you can make completely new ones find new rock textures create a whole atmosphere or whatever